All right, so let's fix this ugly thing called Z fighting. Z fighting, Z fighting, Z fighting, what depends what country you're from, right? In the US, we call it Z fighting. In either case, here we are in Unity, and this is Z fighting. We got this ugly pattern of showing different things. What's happening here is we have our inner terrain, and if you recall, our inner terrain has our satellite overlay assigned to it, okay, in this texture area. So I have our inner terrain highlighted here. I go to this brush here and remember our satellite overlay. We've assigned different things here, okay? You might have a couple in here, but right now it's our satellite overlay. And then we have our OPCD meshes, which we just imported, and they're at the exact same level. Because if you recall, we exported our terrain into Blender and then we conformed our uh, Inkscape shapes to it. So they're exactly the same. They're exactly the same shape. So now inside of Unity, you have two of these things that are exactly the same on top of each other. And Unity's going, I don't know what you want me to show you, so I'm going to show you both. And that's what's happening. So let's clean that up a little bit. It's really simple. But there's some theory involved. And I want you to understand what's happening here. So if I go to Terrain Inner, okay, and I've got all my terrain components over here. Right now we got the brush highlight. Let's go over here to the settings. And you might recall this area. We did our terrain sizes and things in here earlier. But we've got this base terrain, and there's a section called draw. Now, I hate this term why they say draw. I wish it would just say, like, visible on or off, okay? Because that's essentially what we're doing. If we click this, we did not disable it, okay? We just turned off its visibility. It is still there. It is just invisible, okay? That's all we have to do to fix the Z fighting, okay? Now, if you have an outer terrain, let's say you disabled this draw and you still have Z fighting, you might have an outer terrain. That you did not lower earlier during the lidar to terrain free process import that's fine you could also disable draw on your outer as well um, because you should have created meshes for those so if you have a train like an outer on here uh, or an outer plot which it should be called you're going to do the same thing come up here and turn off draw for that as well now, there's one other thing that you don't need to do right now, but I just want, for educational purposes, I wanted to make you aware of it. So we're in our inner terrain, down here in this section, we have this thing called a terrain collider, okay? What a terrain collider does is it gives this terrain physical properties so that when something else hits it, how do they react? Now, if it has a terrain collider, it essentially is saying, if something hits this, I'm going to stop it. Okay, it's a very easy way of explaining to it. And then there's this physics material assigned here. The physics material itself describes how it behaves as something talks uh, hits it. So in the golf world, it's like fairway versus green, green versus tee box, tee box versus rough, deep rough, sand, cart path, etc. In this case, our terrain collider for here has no physics material assigned to it is fine because we're not really using this in game to interact with the ball but it does have the terrain collider enabled we need that because if you're going to be using the unity planning tools and there's some other things later on that require some type of collider enabled on here so you're going to leave that on okay but later on in game okay right before you create this to play inside of gs pro you're going to build this course which is essentially compiling it together the compiling script will disable this terrain collider for you, okay? Um, which is great because then it'll help you, you know, fix any, it won't allow it to be turned on in game, which could mess with how the ball interacts. However, once you build your course and you come back and you start to use some tools, like Unity Planning Tool is a big one, and all of a sudden they're not working, you might need to come back and turn this back on again, okay? So leave it on for now, but understand at some point you might need to come back here and turn it back on on okay and how this gets turned off when we build our course you need to have this called terrain some word over here and the labeling for this train needs to have the word terrain in it that way the script captures captures it and turns off the collider for you but for now do as i say just leave this turned on i just want to make sure that you're aware of it okay um that's it your z fighting should be fixed and uh done and moving on